paled at the twilight's last gleaming. And he went on to tell what he saw in the great standard that we have, which is our Star-Spangled Banner, our national anthem, written on an envelope in words that look just like that. I copied that from the original. Isn't that something? Did you know that we still have the banner that flew that night long ago? Yes, we do. And it's preserved in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. I went down, took a look at it, and here's a sketch I made of the great flag, what's left of it, hanging in the hall. It's about 42 feet tall, if you can imagine. And look, we can see the holes from shrapnel from the shells exploding and all of the frayed edges and it's preserved with all sorts of preservatives to keep it for us just as long as we possibly can. Our star-spangled banner, the flag of these great United States, the original one that hung over Fort McHenry. Just imagine that. Well, I think right now it's time for us to start our sketch of our own coat of arms for the United States of America. 4th of July, 1977. Just imagine, 201 years old. Great. With a crayon, let me plot out for you and design as we go along the area. Can you put a little circle in the middle of your pad or piece of paper? That little circle will be where the shield will be. I'm doing it very lightly, for we'll want to go over it. This is merely for proportions now. A circle. Above the circle, what? A curving line, another curving line, and another curving line. This will be our eagle over the shield. Now, here again, have room on your paper, right? Now, let's start from this curve and go up here and way over here and down. This is going to be the top of the first arching wing. And this wing now, you can guide it over and down and back. You can see it now in your mind's eye, can't you? All right, now we'll move over here and come up with another matching arch to this wing, over, down, and then we'll return. And returning this time, we're going to go into what would be the tail area. There. Now look at the whole design. You see, we're designing and plotting at the same time. Nature, in that it's the eagle, 4th of July-ish, because it's going to be our symbol. Now let's change the circle, this point to this point, and it will be the top arch of the seal. And we'll turn it down like this, and over, and down like that. And then, when we have that set, take one line across the center. Now, here again, that was a circle. We made that point, that point, circled this down, brought this in, and came across to the seal. Now let's pay attention to the eagle itself first. We want to complete that first. Therefore, you see this first curving line? I'm going to change it into this type of line. Here, to the top of the eagle's head. Can you do that? Watch me for just a moment. Feathers. Feathers. Here. Rough feathers. Coming down to the edge of the seal. Coming up here, reversing itself to that point. That will be the head and the neck. And this is the beak. You'll have a chance to look at it all in just a moment. There's the beak. We're going to open it a bit. There. And then here's where the eye would go. An eagle's eye looks as though he has his eyebrow turned down, doesn't it? Here. Open up the eye. Put the pupil in it. There. Now he's looking. All right, now if we have these lines, Continue this body line up and toward the wing, the arching back. Then we can almost trace the lines we've made. Up to that wing, allow your lines now to move freely, turning down, feathers. That's it, all the way down like that. And now before we complete this line, watch what we can do. Bring up the muscle area of the wing to that point. You see, moving lines, and then here, make one long feather. Bring it to a point. There. Right next to it, watch now. Here, another feather, and turn it in. But these become separate feathers. You 
see? That's the way. Now, here, a whole series of under wing feathers. And you see those little loops? Don't become too bold with these, for we want to get color and tone in here on your finished sketch at least. And we don't want to go over these lines too heavily right now. Now, another feather. When we get to this point, now we can bring this one up and turn this one and this one, using this as our guideline, coming in, 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 with a couple of extras leading to the body. Now, there's one arching wing. Let's now move to the other. I'm going to use a different point to my crayon. Here, I'm going to come up here, but not too far. The reason for that is there's a banner going in here. Watch what happens now with this banner. The eagle is clasping the banner in his beak. Can you draw that and then draw the tip of the beak in? There, you see how he's grasping it? Right there on the beak. Now this banner arches in itself. And you can put a curl on it if you want, anything you want. And watch now, where it turns, comes up, and over and back of the wing. Now you can see that this is a flowing piece of material. As a matter of fact, let's do this. See how quickly that was done? It just makes the banner go around and come out to a little split tail. That's the way. Now we can continue that line and come over here with the other wing line. There, now the banner will be in front of the wing the way we want it. Here, as we did in the, the wing on the other side, muscle area, coming down to that first feather. Now we reverse all our lines and make this wing stand out by itself with the other feathers. You see? Here, here, here. And then bring these in, and in, and in, and right to the edge of the beak. Now let's look at our whole coat of arms the design, and see how we're making out. Look at mine first. Here we have this wing, that wing, the body. And incidentally, we can put some feather lines there, the top of that body. And now, remember the little curling line we made here? Watch what happens when we go over that in a series of little straightish lines. This becomes the knee of the eagle. See, he's brought his knee forward. Here we can put curving feathers in. And that knee will be in front of our seal. All right. Now for the seal itself. This line and this line. Now, you see, if we trace over these lines and bring it down to a point at the bottom and up there and that way, we see the shape of the seal. But let's add what we call third dimension to that seal by doing this. Watch now. Now we can make it a heavy well, almost like a carved wood plate. And perspective enters in here, you see? You can see it. Instead of just a piece of paper now, it becomes heavy and wood. For the guide, if we just go inside of that line, down to here, and across, we have the field of blue. Now, right here I can use the blue crayon to show you how you can draw in negative. You see, if we outline a star there, five-pointed star, outline, this will be a field of blue in back of it. And I'll show you how we can do that, too, in just a moment. But right here, let's take a pause in our Fourth of July program. We'll do a good job. We'll be right back after this brief rest. I'll be right with you. symbol is coming along just fine. Take a close look at it, and I'm going to use the blue crayon. If you just have a black crayon, it's all right. Here, we're working on the seal, right? And I've just ended up by drawing a, a star in there. Now, watch what happens. As I cover around that star with the blue, the star stands out inside. Now, we can do the same here and put another star here, there, like that, and then bring that blue down. Remembering that we can put one more star over there, bring in the blue around the star, right to the black guideline, and we have two stars standing out on a field of blue, you see? Now let's move over here, outline another. You see, it's very simple to draw a five-pointed star when you think of the angles, like that, and then, again, fill in around that, right up to the leg of the eagle, and down to the guideline, 
and then right through the center. So we have three stars on our design there. Now with red, we don't even need to outline it with black if you don't want to, but with red, let's take a center here and we'll draw right down close to the point, like that, a red outline. And then I'll fill it in with red. This is our first touch of color, isn't it, on the seal itself. Now all you have to do is to divide up your other areas. I think we can get one more red one there and one more red one there. So let's draw that one down, straight line down. You see it has a different bottom. That one down there, following the guideline. Now this gives a heavy edge and then color those right in with red. That way, if you had a broad red pen, you could just stripe it right down, couldn't you? And again, as I say, if you're drawing with a black crayon or pencil, just darken it in where I'm doing the red. Now we have one, two, three, and we can get one, two over here, right? And that evens off our seal, the shield for defense, right? Red, white, and blue are colors. They certainly stand out above the crowd, no matter where you are. All right, now let's look at our whole design again. Back to the black crayon and complete the tail and arrows. Now, before we do the tail, if you'll just point a whole sheaf of arrows out like that. You see, there's one, and then we can hide another one in back of that, allowing the stem to come in that way, and then tilt them down. You design it the way you want it. I'm just merely showing you how we can do it, you see? They might be different lengths, one tucked in farther than the other. Down here, another. All right, I think that's enough for now. And now, the tail of the eagle. Here's our guideline already set for us. So if we bring one line down like that, and then turn that tail up, another line down, turn it up, and then in back, see the point? There we have the illusion of the tail being in back of the arrows. Again, let's look at our whole design, and I'm going to use the brown crayon. That's right, for the eagle. Brown, let's start here in the back of the white head, you see? And also, leave a little highlight on that wing in back of the head. There, dark brown, getting into it. We'll concentrate on this wing first. Coming over here, dark where we come up to the yellowish beak, which we'll have in just a moment. Now we can color in the rest of the feathers. And don't make it too dark as you taper in to the feathers themselves. Just allow that crayon to follow the shape of it, leaving a highlight here and there. And on the top, there we have it. A little more dark here will help my sketch, allowing the banner to stand out. And now here, where the wing comes down, we need the guideline there, and we need to put in the area of the feathers here, and then fill that in. Now we can be dark brown again as we come up and around the shield and the eagle's head. Now for the back of his body, in back of the wing, and into those feathers, brown. And now let's start on this wing. You'll notice that I go up leaving the highlight there, out to that point, and then sweeping in with those feathers. And each one can be done the way you want it to appear. See how that brown comes up? Around the knee and around the head. There, there, and now for the knee itself. Let's allow a large highlight on that knee. In other words, dark down here, but coming up to highlight there. Black again, tapering in. And then around the arrows, down to the feathers, and then back of those arrows. Now let's look at our whole bird. Browns, and we need yellow for the beak and for the eye. Both upper and lower mandibles, and right there for the eye. Now I have white, and I'm going to put some white in on that white bald head. It's called bald because it's white. You knew that, didn't you? He does have feathers on his head. There it is, the white all working in there. And now, you can use your own ability to create the rest of your design. However, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do it quickly. You watch me first. I'm going to bring another banner out here. I'm going to go like that, and like that, and like that. You see? And now on this side, I'm going to bring it out and back. 
curl it around and out and make the same point as again. Watch me first. Now you can put any symbol on this you want. How about America, 1776, 1977? And then you can use your own imagination and cutting this out and making your own design. So the big important thing is 17, 70, Six, and I'll perfect these later, 1776, and over here, in the back of the feather, of the tail, 19, how about that, 19, meaning 200 years, and 77, how about that? Now, don't forget, here, on this side, because of our peace symbol, to put in your olive leaves. And that completes the design with green. So again, the American Eagle, a symbol of our country, all set up and designed. And I'm going to end up our program by saying goodbye for now. Have a wonderful 4th of July. Wave your flag and be proud of it, for this is the greatest nation ever. Right? And I'm going to put America right there. I hope you all have a just a wonderful holiday and keep that pride in our country up, won't you? Next time, more from our drawing from nature, animals and the life around us. Cat and Bob, bye for now.